Oddly enough, this is super weird. <laughs> this is, this is gonna get really weird. <laughs> Welcome back if you're new and welcome back if you're not new. Hugs, happy to see you here. Thankful for you. Thank you for supporting me and my new endeavor. Single parenting, whoa, this is everything. Are you ready to date or not? But are you? And if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you are. And there I go again with the assuming, but hey, first and foremost, know yourself, know your worth, know your intentions and know your expectations. Yes. For all my ladies out there and all my men out there, know your expectations. And I say this in almost every video I have, like you are allowed to have expectations. They're there for a reason. They set boundaries and it's healthy to have those things. Also like how much time are you, and this goes along with the intention setting, like what are your intentions like going into this dating experience? How much time are you willing to set aside for dating? And like, you might be like, oh my God, this is like, this is too many questions. Like, I don't know, this is too much. Ah. That'd be me. I'd be like, this is too many questions, but like, you have to know these things because if you're just going into this whole thing like blind, you're like, yeah, I don't know, maybe not. You're gonna spin your wheels, set your intentions. So like my intentions are, okay, I'm only gonna go on dates like once a week. If they meet all these expectations beforehand, I will, you know, agree to one date. And like, think about it, if you're a single parent, you could be spending, spending that time with your kids. So like seriously set intentions, seriously set those in expectations. So you're not like going on a date already thinking, mm, I don't really wanna be here. And like you're taking time away from like you, you time, cause you need you time to be a good parent. And like you're taking time away from the kids too. So if you're not feeling it, girl, don't spin those wheels. Boy, don't spin those wheels. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. I remember hearing this dating advice from this like person on YouTube. They're like, date everyone and anything and get experience. And I just remember thinking that seems really aggressive. And if I already know that like this person doesn't even meet two expectations of mine. Like, why would I do that? He's not giving relationship advice for moms. He's giving relationship advice for like single women. Let's be real here, people. Like, don't just go into dating as a single parent, mother, father, whatever you are, and be like, I'm just gonna date anything and everything. No, and it's powerful. It's so powerful to say to yourself and know with yourself and like have that resignation and be like, I know what I want. And I'm okay with saying no to people. Even if that person looks good on paper or looks good to you, good, you have them. They don't meet my expect expectations. And that's okay. So now that we have these intentions and expectations set, I think after that, here's where the fun starts. Because And this really goes back to being honest with yourself and knowing yourself and being like, I know myself, I'm in a really good spot. Like, what do you want in a partner? Like you're allowed to ask yourself that. A lot of communication goes into this. Parenting, you already know. Communication's key, especially when you're like in the dating realm. And sometimes it's hard to like pick up the phone and send a text. So what I, I have no shame in my text game. If you were a friend of mine, you, <laughs> I'm not sorry. You know this, I'll send like 800 messages in a row, but if I don't pick up my phone, or if I can't get to my phone for like three hours, you know everything. I'm like, oh, you're like, oh, she's, she's with the kids, she's good. Communication is so important. Communicate with that person. Hey, these are my expectations, these are my intentions. I have kids, blah, blah, blah. There's also a lot 
a lot, a lot of respect. It comes into dating as a parent. Respect for me, respect for my intentions, respect for my expectations, respect for my time scheduling because, you know, say if you're time sharing or you have the kids full time, have respect for my situation. Have respect for your own situation. Don't let anyone be like, oh, I really like, I have to see you this Friday night. And also I have to come back to your house. No, you do not have that respect going. And that goes along with knowing yourself, your intentions and so on and so forth. This is probably one of Dang it, the most, I don't want to say annoying, but I almost want to say annoying part of like dating as a single parent and dating people that don't have kids. And this is, this is where, you know, this gets a little windy. I'm tired. I work, I parent, I plan. I prioritize, I'm tired, I'm tired. I work, I parent, I plan, I prioritize, I'm tired. The kids are the center of my universe. And dating people that don't have kids, and this is, this is where you know, this gets a little windy. I'm tired. I work, I parent, I plan, I prioritize. I'm tired. The kids are the center of my universe. Not you, not your plans not your expectations. And oh my God, of course, respect other people. Of course, re respect those people's expectations on, you know, bringing it back. But I'm tired. The kids are the center of my universe. You are not first. They are first. It's just hard. Like, I feel like sometimes people just don't understand. They're like, oh yeah, just like, you know, can your parents watch them? And I'm like, you know, not everyone has parents to watch their kids. Not everyone has a babysitter to watch their kids. Not everyone has the means to pay a babysitter to watch their kids. Not everyone trusts babysitters to watch their kids. So like, I feel like to those single moms and dads out there, like I totally understand like this is probably like one of the hardest things that I had to understand very early on in the game is not everyone will understand me as a single mom or in your case as a single dad or whatever the case is. And that's okay because I'm not living my life to please you. I'm living my life, you know, for, for me and my children. And like, there's, it's just hard. Please don't trick yourself and tell yourself that you're at a disadvantage for having children. And like, I'm almost like coming to tears because I remember being a new, newly single mom and thinking, nobody wants me. Who is going to want a single mom of two, you know, little boys. And like, it's like, it seem, it's like seemingly chaos and it's like a lot's going on. And I just like, you have all these thoughts in your head, like who would want this? Like who would be okay with this? Do not tell yourself that. You created those beautiful lives or life. Own that and be proud of that. Like don't, let those thoughts creep up into your head. And I know it's so easy for that to happen because like happens a lot and it's easy for that. And you know, if someone isn't okay, OMG, hear the rant come. I can feel the rant coming on. If someone comes into my life and tries to date me and they're not okay with me being a parent because, hey, that's the first thing that I mentioned. Hey, yeah, I have kids, by the way. If you're not okay with it, then that's okay with me because I'm gonna step away and good luck out there. If somebody comes into your life and is not okay with you having children, why are you going to waste another second trying to be with this person? Like, I'm not sitting here judging you, but like, how do you date someone that like doesn't want anything to do with your kids? 
Like I'm not saying, oh, come into my house, date me, date my kids. He no, I don't want you anywhere near my kids. I need to feel you out first. I need to know what your deal is first. I need to know, I need, I'm like, I don't want you anywhere near my kids. But come the day, you better hope. Like you better hope that all that time you spent with that person is okay coming into your life, into your kid's life. You know what I mean? They are first. And I know it sounds like easy for us to say, but like, I know a lot of girls who have like said that and they're like, he doesn't want kids. He's not ready for kids. I'm like, then why are you, why are you dating that guy? Or why are you dating that girl that doesn't even like kids? Like if she doesn't like kids and doesn't want to be mom life, she's not for you. And like, I don't, I don't understand all that. I'm like, okay, well, that's my life. That's who, who, that's who I am now. I am a mother. In your case, maybe I am a father and like my kids are first. So like mad respect for being honest, like cheers to honesty, but like I have to step away because I'm going to honor myself. I'm going to be honest with myself. I'm going to be true. true. Like I have expectations. Uh, one of them is, you know, some, my partner being okay with me having kids. So like, you know, and what I learned, <laughs> you know, and I'm on social media and my kids are all over my social media. And for the most part, I live in a small town. I grew up here. People know who I am. People know that I have kids. But if you're new somewhere and people don't know who you are, whatever the case may be, let them know you have kids. Like, don't be going into like the eighth day and being like, oh yeah, I have kids, by the way. And they're just like, oh my God. Honesty is the best policy. And like, I don't know. Like, I'm obsessed with my kids. Like, literally, I think about them, if not all day long. So that's like, make sure that's the first thing that you mention. Like, it doesn't need to be like, oh, hi, nice to meet you. I'm Shelby. I have two kids. Oh, hi, I'm, I'm Joe. I have two kids. Do you want kids? That's not what I'm saying. You, like, please be normal. Do not take what I'm saying verbatim and like running to the hills with it. It is just some lovely conversation that me and you are having. Minus, I don't know who you are. And like, I'm talking to a camera right now. So it is like me and me right now. But like, let them know you've got children, like straight away. Weed those people, you're just weeding those people out that like don't want kids or are comfortable with it. And like, that's okay if they're not okay with it. And then like, I have kids. If you date me, you're gonna have to be a parent. That's freaky, it would freak me out. I'd be like, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can handle all this. I'm scared. I'm scared all of a sudden. Ah! Oh my God, will I just say this one thing? You will truly thank yourself when you do these things. Like, I'm not gonna say the right way. I don't believe there's, you know, I do believe there's a wrong way to go about this, like epically, disastrously wrong. Um, I'm not saying what I'm saying is like, this is it. Blah. No, it's just like friendly combo. And like, I really wanted to talk about the difficulties of like being a single parent. And I have a, a few, a few actually, a handful of single mom friends and single dad friends. And like, these are the conversations that we have together all the time. And it is so beautiful because like they understand and like, it's just like a beautiful like community and like we all really support each other and it's just, it's beautiful. And I really wanted to share this with you guys online because like sometimes who, who knows, do you have a support system? Do you have people around you to talk to you about this stuff? Like, I don't know, I'm here to love you and like hug you even though I'm not near you <laughs> and just like say, hey, it's all good. Like this is your life now and it's beautiful and embrace it. I wanna go into something knowing, oh, this is a total failure. Like, I don't really know my intentions. I don't really know my expectations. I don't really like care if they know if I have kids or not. Like, honestly, that to me is like a recipe for absolute disaster. Time wasted is time never found again. And I could be spending that time on me, my family, my friends, my kids, most importantly, my children. So dating blindly to me is just horrifying. 
especially as a single parent. I'm like, God, no, I don't want to do that. That's terrible advice, Matthew Hussey. No, thanks. I am not, I am not going to do that. He's like, practice. Practice going on dates and being the most awesome you. And I'm like, I think I'm already awesome. I don't think I should date everyone I, I make eye contact with because that's not a good idea. And oddly enough, this is super weird. <laughs> this is, this is going to get really weird. This is going to get super weird. Oh, it usually does get weird on this channel. There's no filter with me. This is, this is, this is. This is weird. I cannot figure out for the life of me. I have a little bit of like a, a like a of like why this happens. Men love moms. So like look out for that too. And like even with women, like women have this like fetish for like dads, like single dads. And yes, I know this sounds so super weird, but like I've heard it from all of my single male friends and a lot of my single women friends with, with children, people eat it up. They're like, you're a single mom. Oh my God. Excuse my language. This is getting really, really weird, really, really fast. So honestly, like weeding out those people too, that have those weird fetishes of like, Ooh, single mom. Ooh, single dad. I know that sounds bizarre, but I'm telling you it is a thing. I was talking to one of my girlfriends the other day and she actually sent me this video of this lady and she was like, there are so many more people out there than you think that have this weird like single mom and single dad fetish. It is freaky. I think about all those people who had this spark in them and they're like, I'm not gonna give up. Mm -mm, I am not gonna give up. Not today, Satan. I just appreciate you guys and like I love you and like happy you're the sperm that won you are worth it you are worth everything your heart desires I told you it was gonna get weird I just told you you're the sperm that won so like this is where I'm at in my life like it's fine though no. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I